Hi, so following on from my last video, uh, where I talked about recording a classical piano, using piano tech to create the effect of a, you know, a real Steinway or whatever piano you're using in, in a hall, sounding as natural as possible. I wanted to say a few more words about this uh, to kind of address some of the questions that, that, that have popped up. One of the main things is, is volume. So, you know, right now I'm listening through headphones. That's not my favorite, but even if I'm listening through headphones, I, I want them to sound, I want the sound to be sort of immersive, if you see what I mean. So I, I would use the binaural setting um, in Piano Tech to create that, that sense of, of, you know, being in the space. And I want it to be immersive and I'd want the volume to be just exactly the same level as I would hear if I was playing a real piano. And obviously that's, you know, I can't demonstrate that to you. All I can do is ask you to take my word for it, that when I play now on the, the, the default New York Steinway Prelude um, preset, which is absolutely fine, it's a, it's a great, you know, preset for, 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 for that experience of playing a real piano in a hall, as long as you're, you know, as I say, your, 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 your headphones are really good quality and it feels immersive, it feels real, you need the volume level to sound the same. Now, if you've never played in on a, a Steinway in a big hall, let me tell you, it, it's, it's quite loud. When you're sitting in front of the piano, it's quite loud. Honestly, the sound is, is, not, is not timid. So I've got the sound loud in my ears now. So that volume, that level of volume, is, to me, is very important because what I'm always going for is this experience of playing. The actual, the whole experience is a sort of immersive thing. So in a previous video, I've talked about how to make piano tech feel like a real piano or to sound like a real piano. You've got to play it with the feeling of playing a real piano. You've got to play it from the body. You've got to play it from the soul. That's true of kind of any instrument, isn't it? That you you play them in a a way that's that, that feels, you know, rhythmically free you know if you play if you're playing wind instrument the breath must flow so so with the piano you must feel it from the body you've got to mean it as well you've got to play with intention all of that is is very important for piano tech but i think also this this experience of playing uh being as as realistic is very important for me otherwise i don't have that feeling of actually being there with the piano in that room. So the, 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 this New York Steinway D Prelude preset, the default preset for, for that piano and all the pianos is great as long as the volume is, is, is to a level that feels realistic. Obviously my experience means that I know what that volume level is. You might not be so, so sure, uh, but believe me when I tell you it's louder than you might think. Um, I prefer listening through speakers to headphones. If I'm honest, even, even really nice headphones like, like these ones. Um, I prefer, I prefer three speakers sitting in the sweet spot, as I said in my last video. But it's that volume level that, that needs to be high, needs to be at the same sort of level. So what about recording at lower levels? What about recording with the mic set up differently? What, what about that feeling? Do I ever do it? Well, I would do it if I wanted the piano to be a less... I wouldn't... If I was less attached to the piano being realistic, you know, like to sound like a real piano in a real hall, then I might do it and I might record on a very different setup. So maybe something like one of these, uh, like the Steingraber cinematic, what are, the, what are the microphones like that? Yeah, they're in the audience position. So it's very different experience. feels very different. If I go back to the Steinway D Prelude. I 
I suppose the word is it feels immediate, it feels present. Whereas the playing on that Steingraber cinematic, it felt <laughs> felt at a remove. So because I don't feel as present, I don't feel immersed in an experience that feels, albeit virtual, like the real thing, it feels more virtual, therefore. Do you see what I mean? So so that wouldn't matter what volume I played it at. I could I, because I'm not looking necessarily when I'm recording on that kind of piano. Now, obviously, I will talk about the, the you know the, how how to produce pianos that aren't just like real pianos in the room. That's something that I will talk about on this channel. It isn't piano tech. Isn't all about realism at all. Uh, you know, I think I'm still learning this myself. It's a very very powerful tool. But if it's realism you're after, this is the thing. You want the mic set up in the player position, and for me, preferably speakers or headphones using the binaural setting, um, so that you produce a immersive, immediate, present experience. Volume level needs to be up to the same level as you'd hear in the space, even if you're playing really loud. So obviously, that might feel a little uncomfortable. It might be at a level that's kind of uncomfortable. It might disturb the neighbors. But for me personally, I would find it difficult, especially something loud like that, to, to feel that I was playing it right if I didn't have that volume. I'd probably end up pushing, to be honest. I'd probably end up banging because I'd, I'd sort of be trying to get it to the level that I'm used to. So obviously, this is experience. I know that I, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of experience of playing acoustic pianos in some nice venues, uh, some nice pianos as well. So I have that experience, so I, I know what I'm kind of looking for. But experiment, maybe if you do get the chance to get into a hall and, and play a real piano, notice how full the sound actually is, especially with a big concert grand, like this New York Steinway, it's seriously big. And even if you're playing really softly, there's a feeling of well, volume, there's a feeling of space in a sense that comes through there being a lot of you know, a, a, a lot of sound. There's a lot of sound. They're even playing really softly. Even then, it's very present. It's very immediate because I've got that volume level up high. In a way, you can't, and I'm not sure you'd want to recreate it, you can't hear what I'm hearing. That's the point. I'm, I'm sticking with the, the preset. I'm not going to change it to the audience perspective like I did in the previous video. And I, you know, I'll, I'll give you some idea, therefore, of what, what, it, what it sounds like, but it doesn't sound the same, I suppose, unless you sat in the sweet spot of the speakers and turned the volume up to the level, which would be a very high volume setting for normal listening, a higher volume setting than normal listening. That's the point. Um, so, you know, experiment with this. You're looking for something that feels like, feels like the real thing. And that's, for me, is the only way I can record and perform on piano tech um, and make it sound like the real thing. It's almost like a mental trick for me. It's if, if I don't feel like I'm playing a real piano, the recorded result doesn't sound like one. So this thing about volume, getting getting the, the level up nice and high like a real piano, is very much part of that. Mm -hmm. 